Hello and welcome to this demonstration series. My name is Jason Paul. I'm the Managing Director for Apt Innovations. Today we're here at Moors Caravans in Lisburn, Northern Ireland, where by using our new patented flow device, I'd like to show you how you can drain down your own touring caravan without having to pay someone to do it for you. So let's get started. Now the last few winters have been particularly harsh and many caravan owners have complained of broken components such as uh, taps, onboard pumps and uh, filter bottles etc. Now this has nothing to do with draining the water heater or indeed running the onboard pump. Um, in fact it may be something to do with the incline that the van is sitting on um, or not leaving the taps open when you're trying to drain that water heater. Other people have tried other methods such as blowing down through the taps um, or you know driving home from a journey with the dump valves open and, and the, the taps open trying to shake that water backwards and forwards. Um, but through our research we found that, that there is no real way of gauging just how much water has actually come out of the system, um, uh, more importantly how much water is actually still in the system. But what I want to show you today is that by using our touring caravan kit with a little bit of compressed air, irrespective of any circumstances, you'll be able to blow all of that water out of the kitchen taps, the shower and also the bathroom wash hand basin. The benefits to you, the owner, is that you'll be protected through the winter months without any broken components. In addition to that, if you were to carry out a drain down just a couple of times through the summer season, what you'll find is you'll be able to remove all of that old stale and stagnant water. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is introduce you to the kits that we have. We have three kits suitable for touring caravans. The first two are from Truma, and as you see you have the Crystal 2 connection and the Pistol connection. We also have a third from Wheel. Inside the kit also what you'll find is a DVD and that will give you a demonstration on how to use the device. On the back you'll find further instructions if you need them uh, but you'll also have uh, precautions there also and we would recommend that you read those thoroughly. Um, so inside what you'll have uh, the system itself we're going to use a Truma connection for this particular example. Um, what you find in the pack is the device itself and the adapter. So connecting them together, just a snap fit like that, we are going to plug this into the side of the caravan uh, and then at the other end we're going to connect an air source which we'll discuss in a second. Now you can also use the device um, for the likes of an outside garden hose or a power hose and what we found over the recent last couple of years uh, with those hard frosts is that more and more hoses and power hoses, the guns particularly, the spray guns are, are being damaged uh, in the hard frosts. Finally what you can do is disconnect the flow device and connect it onto an outside tap. If your house has mains water throughout what you can actually do is drain the system down if you plan to go on holiday for a couple of weeks. Okay, so how do we get air into flow? Well, what we have at the bottom of the device is a threaded valve similar to that of a car or a bicycle. Um, and being that, what you can use is a typical foot pump. Uh, as long as you have an accurate gauge, and I would urge you to try it out on maybe, say, the wheel of a car, just to make sure that your gauge is accurate. We have another type here, which is a bicycle pump. Um, as long as it has a gauge on the back here, you can use that. Um, what we also have here is a handheld uh, little pump where if I were to press on the, the, the key, it acts somewhat like a cordless drill. It will produce air also. You've, I'm sure, come across these before, which is a typical 12 volt uh, compressor, which you could plug into the cigarette lighter of the car. Um, one that I use here is a 12 volt battery pack. Now what it has is uh, jump leads on the side and it's just a handy thing to have around. But the one thing it does have is if I turn it around it has a digital compressor. There's a digital reading here and I can set uh, the pressure that I want to put in. At the bottom here what I also have is the valve connector. So I just connect that onto the end of the device, uh, set the gauge and, and turn the compressor on. So that brings me on to another important point which is how much pressure do we push into the system. Well water normally comes out of the taps and is gauged in, in pressure and that pressure is called bar. So the water that would come out of your taps in a touring caravan is roughly about one bar. Um, for a home it would be being mains water it would be two or three bar. Now one bar equals to 15 psi and all we want to do is push in air uh, and, and therefore push the water out of our taps under the same sort of pressure. So we want to keep our compressor at 15 psi. Now you have components inside the touring caravan such as your onboard pump and the guidelines are to keep that under 20 psi um, because that's what it has been tested to. So we want to keep our pressure to 15 psi. 
Now what you'll need to do before carrying out any work to your water system is to turn off your onboard pump and that should stop any excess water from pumping out. So we'll just turn it off at the main control panel. So to carry out a drain down, the first thing we need to do is empty the water heater. Now we do that by releasing the little yellow dump valve. Um, you might actually find that if you open a tap, say in the kitchen, um, that will stop any vacuum occurring and the water will come out much faster. Also, if you have an onboard tank, you need to make sure that the water is coming from the outside source and not coming from the tank itself. And you can do this by just changing the lever. Once you've drained the water tank, what you want to do now is make sure that you turn that little dump valve off again and that you close all of your taps in the caravan. So now that the water heater has been drained, we're now ready to carry out our first drain down. Now, just for a second, I'd like to explain how your water system works. Water enters the caravan from this point here and then moves on to the pump. From the pump then the water will then split into two. The left hand branch will travel on to the cold taps in the kitchen and the bathroom and the shower. The right hand branch will travel into the water heater where the water is heated and then it travels on to the hot taps in the shower, the wash hand basin and indeed in the kitchen. So what we want to do is we want to take our touring caravan kit, we want to take the trim end and put it into the side of the caravan and at the other end of our flow device we want to attach our air supply. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of pressure into that system and as we mentioned before that would be 15 psi. What will happen is that pressurized air will act somewhat as a coiled spring. All of your taps are turned off at this point so whenever you release one of your taps that coiled spring will want to open as such and what you'll find is when you open the tap the water will pour out followed by a spit of air. So let's get that connected. And that's it. So now that the device is connected, what we want to do is connect up our air supply. And as I said, I'm just using this battery pack type compressor, again, just because it's handy. So what we'll do is just connect on our lead to the end of flow. And what you'll find is that's a threaded connector as well. So if you do have that type of compressor, you can just screw um, the connection onto the end of the valve. So what we'll then do is set the compressor to 15 PSI, switch it on and build up the pressure in the system. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen area of the caravan and the compressor is built up to 15 psi and we're now ready to drain down our first tap. Now it doesn't really matter where you start, I just generally go from the kitchen into the wash hand basin in the bathroom and then into the shower. Um, but we're going to drain down the hot side and the cold side of these mixer taps and it's very important that you do that because obviously there is a cold water line going to the tap and a hot water line. So it's important that you do both. So the process is quite straightforward. We're building up pressure inside the system. We then turn our tap all the way to hot and we release that tap. That pressurized air will push the water out of the tap. Then what we do is we close the tap off and push it all the way to cold. Build up pressure one more time and then release the tap. And what you want to do then is repeat that for the wash hand basin in the bathroom and then into the shower. Okay, so um, what I've done here is I've brought a, a little RX jug just to show you how much water um, we can actually remove from this system. What I would also recommend is that you carry a dishcloth or a face cloth um, because what's going to happen is the air is going to follow the water out of this particular tap and sometimes you'll get a bit of a spit and basically all it does is it stops that water from splashing around. So let's drain our first tap. Okay, so that's the system built back up to 15 psi and we're now ready to drain down our cold tap. Um, so what we'll do is just turn the tap all the way to cold and remembering your cloth, just release. Okay, so that's the system built back up to 15 psi and um, we're now at the wash hand basin in the bathroom. Now just a word of caution, whenever you do build up pressure in the system, don't leave it for more than a minute um, because you don't want to do any damage to the system. So basically what we're going to do again is turn the tap all the way to hot and we'll release. And 
that's all the water blown out of the system and as you can see here um, the Parex jug is uh, just about uh, one and a quarter pints at this stage. Okay, so the pressure is built back up to 15 PSI and we're ready to do the cold tap. So what we'll do here is just turn the lever all the way to cold and release. So what we've done is for handiness just brought the shower head out to the wash hand basin. Um, so what we're going to do is turn the shower all the way to hot and release. And that's the pressure built up one last time, um, so what we'll do is empty the cold side of the shower. And that's that drain. So if you did have any other outlets, um, such as outside showers, etc., what you would do is you would build up the pressure uh, one last time and go out and drain those also. So that's the system almost drained down, but what we would recommend to you is that you build up the pressure one last time in the system and then open the little yellow dump valve beside the water heater. And what that will do is any residual water that has been left in there, it will blow it out of the bottom of the caravan. Of course, when carrying out a drain down, make sure you read your manufacturer's instructions to make sure that you've got everything covered. Also, if you're using flow, make sure to read the instructions on the back of the pack and the precautions at the bottom of the pack, particularly those relating to the pressure. Make sure you keep your pressure to 15 PSI and don't try to connect the kit to a mains water source. But as you can see, um, by using the kit, we've taken out just uh, just over one litre of water. Now that is enough during the winter, it doesn't seem like a lot, but that is more than enough um, to cause quite a bit of damage inside your touring caravan. Um, also, um, if left for an extended period of time, this water is going to go off. It's going to go stale and stagnant, and you're not going to get a very good taste from that water. So what we recommend is instead of flushing and flushing um, and using sterilizing agents, just every once in a while, blow out the system uh, and it will give you some uh, great tasting fresh water back. Also as a first time use, you should unscrew or disconnect the filter bottle beside the pump just to make sure that there's no water trapped inside as these can be prone to breaking in a frost. Finally, and this is imperative, if you plan on leaving your caravan laid up for the winter period, what we would recommend is that you leave your taps in the open position. Um, if you're using a mixer tap, just bring the lever to the centre, but leave it open. And we would recommend that you do that for the kitchen, for the bathroom wash hand basin, and for the shower. And that's it. The drain down is carried out, and that should keep you going through those cold winter months if you intend to lay up for the winter time. Uh, it's also a good idea just to drain down a few times through the summer season and that will help get rid of that old stale water and give you nice fresh water back in return. Um, so I'd like to thank Moors Caravans for the very kind participation in making this film and I'd like to wish you all the very best with your touring caravan and thank you for watching.